cat, please don't eat my glasses. Cat, Thank don't you. eat my glasses, or so help me. Or so help All right, me. so uh, Ebony, right next to you, you see uh, the guard take a pair of glasses that he's for some reason had in his pocket and just put it in his mouth. And you hear this really weird crunching sound as the glass and the, the thin metal is just crunching against his fucking teeth and there's there's nothing but terror in your soul. No, don't eat my laptop. Hey, right, Jacob, it's your turn. All right. So <sighs> Jacob, so Jacob uh, is going to turn to this guy over here and he's going to move over here to get a flanking bonus. Ah! Cola, you don't have to be in the room with your sister. You're fine. And he's gonna gonna go ahead and slap the shit out of this merman. Oh. Clang. Oh, I, I did not roll the second bit. So let second. me try that again. Second bit? Oh yeah, because our vantage. Because advantage. So that would be my second bit, and I'd probably take the first damage anyway. Um, heck, let's take the second damage for funsies. Just clunk. <laughs> you club him right in the fucking head. He's like, ow! Fuck! Rude! And now he's going to go ahead and do a, uh, uh and now he's gonna go ahead and draw his weapon back again. And Draws a picture of his weapon. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful weapon, but you know what else is beautiful? What? Uh, this little spell I'm about to cast. Called Gremlin's Call, which calls at least two gremlins. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'm just gonna slap him with an additional 2d6 uh, radiant damage. Alright. You know, with advantage, Kablamo. That hits him. And it does an additional three damage. Oh my god. Oh my god, three damage. As there's this mark, this brand suddenly slapped into him, and it's like this burning sensation. He's just like, ah! Fuck! Language. Like, he says that in his fish. It's a, it's a, it's. Who's meowing? Sorry, that's Cola. He wants in my room because he's <laughs> in here. <laughs> One of the guards just starts meowing inexplicably. I think he's having a, having a hard time. <laughs> Cola, please. He hurt. He's Cola's hurt so meowing. bad. He has started meowing. Cola. <laughs> All right. Uh, do anything else, Jacob. Your brother wants in. Alright, so Jacob uh, does not have a whole lot that he can do, but he is going to go ahead and maintain his position here. Okay, fine. Okay. Here. We'll close your brother. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh. I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna be here. Okay. Aaron! Yo. You got some fish boys swimming up at you doing some <laughs> Swim times. Yes, they are. This is all according to Kikaku. Totally. This is all according to plan. They're so busy focusing on me that, uh, fuck, what goddamn area spells do I have again? Uh, area of effect. The fun times. Turns out I don't actually have many of those, but, um, so I'm just gonna see this boy, this boy yep. that I attacked before. Yes. I'm going to hit him with the most powerful attack imaginable, and, uh, I can't believe I dealt one goddamn damage to him. Anyway, here's the second laser. I'm... Okay, so two two lasers pass by is the middle dude, right? Yeah. Okay, one just lightly talks him right in the right in the side of the head. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, and the like as as he's as he's like tilt backward because of that. The second beam flies by his face, and then he looks back, and then he looks at you. He's like, y you knew what this? 
Okay. It is really hard to aim when you're right in my face. Shush. Good. I don't want to get hit. It's the point. You know what else is pointy? This sword. Yep. Just plays a few threatening notes on the li- on the lyre. <laughs> By the way, what are you even doing here? Capturing rebels? I thought that was obvious. No, but I mean, why are you here and not somewhere else? Like, why did you come to this specific location? But because there was rebels here? In that case, where's the rebel leader? He's he's just staring at you, like, in a pause. And then, like, as if he's taking a deep breath, he holds up a finger, and he can't fucking answer. He doesn't fucking know. (laughs) He actually seems to turn around a couple times. Where the fuck is she? (laughs) Arn is pleased by her obviously superior logic as she continues to get ready to fight. Fight these guys. <laughs> oh god. Tarnock. <clears throat> you're you you are surrounded by blood and fish bits, and there's a guy desperately trying to swim away from you. I see that, and I burst out of my uh mist a mist of smoke of blood in the water. Yes. I'm sorry. And I swim out, and I know I have enough. I have way enough movement. I swim up, and I. You cuddle him. You tell him everything's going to be all right. For I just grab his shoulders and I bite his neck. Ow! Yeah. Let's uh, let's see how that go. Twenty. All right. <clears throat> Say, so, uh. So, what happens to this poor sod? Uh, I just, I'll just take his head off. Yeah, yeah, rip his head clean off as blood just starts spraying in a cloud around you. Like, just right into the turtle right in front of you, and he's like, hmm, what is this liquid? <laughs> okay, and then, uh, oh, I see another one over there. He's like 45 feet in the air. Well, let me highlight this in fucking white so it's more visible. Uh, okay, there. there. Let's see. I use like ten. So I have thirty-five. Okay. Then he's forty-five. Cool. Uh, using my bonus action and my key points, I use step of the wind, or in this case, swim of the wind. Ha! I'm a ah. genius. And I dart over and then swim right up and bite at his arm, holding the trident. Emojis. All right. <clears throat> the hits. And I had my turn there. Okay. Except the wind is a very good ability. Ah! I guess I was going to attack the guy down there. Advantage, because clanky. That actually hits. Holy shit. Uh, Mostly these guys are finally out. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, We'll just start with... All right, uh, Ebony, uh, they're going to try to hit you with the trident. Okay. Um, okay, that's probably going to hit. Something I need to roll. Uh, what is your armor class? Uh, good question. Armor class. How do I look that up? That should be on your core stats. Oh, okay, core. Armor class. On the right. On the right. On the right. Sixteen. Yeah, 
All right, so he has to beat a 16 in his attack roll in order to hit you. He's rolled a 19. <clears throat> uh, so that's going to deal 8 piercing damage. Okay. Wait, that's my no armor, but I'm wearing armor. Oh, shh, hey! No scratching on the bed. No scratching the bed. Was I supposed to put in something from the armor I'm wearing? Because I'm wearing studded armor. No. Uh... Yo, it, yeah, you should you should do that. Check your armor page. <laughs> okay, hold on. Studded leather is twelve, from what I understand. And that's a light armor. So, um Check hilariously sheet. enough, your AC is lower with the studded leather. Wait, what? Yeah, some characters have have armor classes that are lower with armor on because they don't have a thing. Ah, for the that armor. makes sense. Not as yeah. much maneuverability and such. Yeah. Yeah, you like like your your dr your draconic resilience basically counts as a sort of a dragon scale like skin. So, mm -hmm. but because you are in fact wearing armor, you're it's actually lower than normal. Uh. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, okay, so that's going to be eight piercing. Okay. Uh, damage. Uh, so, so what you can, what you could do is, uh, just do it on that little green bar of yours. So you just click your pog, and there should be a circle that pops up. You just click it, and you put minus eight, and you hit enter. Hey, cool. Okay. Okay. Uh, this fellow over here is actually going to disengage and start moving out. Oh, actually, he has to go right through you. So, um, are you going to stop him from mo moving through you? Uh, sure, why not? Okay. Uh, it's going to be uh, either your athletics or acrobatics, as he's trying to charge right through you. Okay. Athletics, I have. Acrobatics, I don't have. So I'm going to roll my athletics. Okay. And then submit. All right. So he sees, like, he looks like he's about to go and try and escape from... Uh, from the, the building, but then you just brute force and just bound back into the building. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, these fresh friend boys over here. Don't forget protection from evil and good. Alright, good point. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. So the uh, guard behind you is like trying to uh, just shank you with the trident, but like it doesn't quite. Uh, uh, it like swerves again, and like it just like it trying just goes through the uh, through the uh, empty water. <clears throat> the one in front of you, uh, armor class is sixteen, correct? It yeah. All right, so that's six piercing damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna um, multi attack. <clears throat> that does not hit. In fact, he fucking drops his goddamn trident because that was a crit fail. <laughs> right. Good job, fool! It slowly sinks sixty feet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy's trying to try to do the same, and that's going to be eight piercing. All right. All right. This guy over here, looking at the current situation and the couple of dead guards on the ground and slightly above him, some of them flailing about, uh, what it's going to do, he pulls out this weird little, uh, this weird little, uh, sheet, the uh, sheet. Pulls out a what? She shall but a she shore. <laughs> she shall a she shall. shore. A shell or a sheet? A sheet of a shell? Shells made out of a sheet. Let the GM answer, please. 
You know, that's a good fucking question. What is even today? All right. <clears throat> Some kind of weird seashell looking thing as like he uh he sort of cracks it in his uh in his hand and like this bright red luminescent light just suddenly flies up into the air. With, and then like after it gets a couple uh a couple hundred feet, it suddenly just es- explodes into this flash of red. Gate, may I ask a question? Go ahead. It is not like a like it's not getting shot at me, but could I use my reaction to try and catch that? It it is a sort of projectile. Uh, it does seem to be some kind of uh, projectile. However, it is not, in fact, going directly at you. So your catch missiles thing won't really apply in this scenario. Uh, okay. What you could do. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so that's how the, you use those seashells. By the seashore. Uh, sorry, oh. That's joke. why she sells them. All right. But what do you do with the other two seashells? I don't know what's going on. What is this? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, there, there's this bright red flashlight in the sky, uh, much like <laughs> what was, if I were to describe it outside of medieval terms, like a flare. Okay. Uh, and that's what he does. He fireworks his way away. No, he's still there. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm going to go after the mofo that has decided to attack me. Right, with two strike. I did a thing to help me figure out his stats. Did you did two strike two in order to gain advantage on your next attack? Yes. Sorry. There I'm is like a... no. I don't know exactly what everything does per se. There, there is abilities that would allow you to learn of a creature's stats, but that's not one of them. Yeah. So, I, I did true strike, which helps me do a thing. Yep. It helps you hit more accurately. Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to attack. Right. I'm going to hit him with my staff. This will be with advantage. Okay. Because true strike. Yes. So then, how do I do this? Well, you roll it, and it'll prompt. It'll prompt you. Okay. So then, I need to look for my staff, which would be in weapons. Yes. Attack. And then advantage. Roll. Oh shit! Sweet. All right, it like clanks against his helmet, and you see his head rattle around inside of it. It's like, ah, ow, fuck! That's what you get for hitting me, you worthless hunk of scales. <gasps> First of all, excuse you. First of all, excuse you. No, excuse you! Here I am, just trying to do my job, and you random bastards come in and start freeing all the goddamn terrorists into the goddamn street. All I did was walk into this room. I didn't do anything, and then you attacked me first, sir. Also, they're not terrorists, and you know it. You shut you. (laughs) (laughs) You just... You're just like Gordon Evan. He just tells you to shut up. (laughs) Also, they're not terrorists. You stay out of this. (laughs) Either way, there's no reason to be so offensive. You hurt my feelings. Well, you hurt my feelings by you attacking me. Excuse you. <laughs> Excuse you. What are you doing wandering into a combat zone? I heard people in need, so I walked in to see if anybody needed assistance. I do. Can you hit them? <laughs> no, because you hit me first. <laughs> well, isn't this a predicament? Indeed, it is. I can just have to keep hitting you now. Lovely. <laughs> 
gonna hit you first. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> he just holds his trident. Uh, Jacob's just like. Yasio is just taking notes, just like this would be great for a next for my next piece of art. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Yes. All right, well, since I'm helping these individuals as we go through the tunnels, um, I, I am going to be helping uh, unmanacle uh, this lovely individual. So I guess I just use my thieves' tools to unshackle this person? Yes, Nathan Nath and Rick's voice. <laughs> this does not confuse me at all! Ah. Okay. Click. Alright, you click open and she's no longer be shackled. There you go. Yeah, easier to run around now, isn't it? Swim around now, it's not. Heck it, let me, let, well, I'll try that out then. And she does, does the swim real good the fuck out. Great. Now it's time for uh, Dennis's turn. As we... How do you know my name? <laughs> As we make our way out. I'll have to wait till next turn to actually be able to do anything. Yes. <clears throat> I got right. such easy turns. Next. You're not exactly in combat. He's like just leisurely <laughs> wandering around like, ah. Oh, an interesting place to help Jacob. <laughs> Hey, I'm helping. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you score. All right. Oh, I'm here. Okay. So, Jacob's going to go ahead and walk forward. Okay. And he's just sort of like, okay, I've had a... Uh... And he's just going to go ahead and give this guy a good dude on the on the top, the top of the head. Dude. Just, dude. <laughs> He is un he's he he is he is not duted at all. He's unduted. Up here, no, come here, you're getting your call back. And he's gonna go ahead and try and dude him again. Doot, doot. Double Slap. dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that hits. Clung. Ah my kidneys. My fish kidneys, which I have, which is for fishes. Fish need do do fish have kidneys? Hey I don't Google, know. do fish uh, have kidneys? Oh come on! According to Wikipedia, the reverse passage of freshwater fish consistently water up water Their kidneys produce dilute urine from fishing. Some fish, especially those after feeding, have various features, allowing them to move in freshwater to salt water. Thank you. Life lessons with Alexa. No, that's no. Google. Were you guys able to hear it? Yeah. 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 Gugexa. Basically, uh, yeah. fish. fish do not <laughs> and they piss through their skin. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I did not need to know that. I didn't need this. Uh, uh, okay, so... <laughs> These guys piss themselves. It just goes throughout their body. <clears throat> it's like just... water around them. Oh. Why? Hey, it's like, the... hey, God. What my what my what my head passed through? Why was it warmer? <laughs> you, you see, that that's the equivalent of sweating at that point. Mm-hmm. Just yeah, lube just... urine. You're sweating urine. Oh, that would be pretty gross if that was on land mammals and just constantly pissing up. But let's get continue to with the topic. Hello, uh, <laughs> Jacob. All right, so Jacob, you hit with one of your warhammer attacks and. Uh, the, you 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 you've clubbed this dude, and he just f falls over and flaps onto the the floor. It's like it's like you two are just arguing, and just Jacob walks up and he's like, "Doom!" and then he just falls over. Looks up at Ebony. Well, it's more like floating upside down. He just kind of looks up at Ebony and is like, "Um, we got stuff what? to do." What? And he just kind of. <laughs> 
and he just kind of sw- uh, uh, and he just kind of starts to swim this way. Four. Okay. Attack of opportunity. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I would, I would okay. be fine with that, admittedly, but yeah. <laughs> that doesn't even hit. Attack of opportunity. Attack of opportunity. He's like, eh, and then he just glances off his shield. Looks up and sees Aaron. Oh no! Hi, Jacob. Scary. You okay? Oh yeah, I can get out of this in like five seconds. Uh, you want to fall back towards us? Oh, uh, is that where you want me to go? I mean, if you can. That makes it easier. Yeah, you, you, you guys pretty much rescued all of the fish rebels, the fish bulls, the fish bulls, and. Is, is my turn? Yeah. Is turn yours, yes? So, um... Five seconds. Nice. Door. <laughs> I imagine it's like that, um, that one piece thing with a door, a door. You just, like, air door all the way fucking down Like, here. she just motions a door closing and then just pops up over here. <laughs> five like- seconds. Jacob just kind of uh, 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 Jacob just kind of gives her a quick hug. Jacob, so you two uh, notice when you come out of that building that the the, the hmm? red glowing orb in the sky that's slowly descending. What? More accurately, more accurately, he gives her a pat on the back. It's like, all right, we can get out of here now. Aaron looks up. Might want to do it fast. Looks like they shot a signal. Sh- All right, Tarnock, we're leaving. Tarnock, Tarnock, Tarnock. I am right. I am right here. But are you left here? Tarnock, where'd you get the accent? Okay, explain to me. Be really quick. (laughs) Is this Tarnock talking? Okay, no. <clears throat> They're talking to you, Tarnock. They've given you vocalizations. Oh, my mouth is on someone there. Ah! So, so what was it you guys were saying? Well, you better get out of here, is what we were saying. Okay. They shot off a signal shell. I uh, take it off. off. <laughs> I tried to catch it. Didn't work. <laughs> Heck. Aww. So, we're running now. As he's yelling, as he's holding this, like, terrified fish man or something. Alright. Most apparently. Tarnock, it is your turn, by the way. Hmm, okay. Mm. Bite at the dude's neck. Mm, bite at it again. Is that one hit or is that miss? That does miss. Yes, okay. Uh, key Thank point. You. Okay. It's, yeah, that uh, is. 17 dex 30 saving throw, please. Jesus, man. Okay. He crit. Nice. Goodness. Maybe I'll guess give this guy a recurring rival character for you if he survives this coming onslaught. Uh, yes, he is alive, but that hit. He's like, oh, I'm blood. Cool. And... Mm. I end my turn with, that, with not moving. Yeah. Alright. I'll catch up. Uh, yes, yo. <clears throat> I am fast swimmer. Delicious ketchup. I love. I don't know. Alright, um. What am I gonna do with this dude? Well, dude, this of uh, what I do him is where. I know, I'll cast Thunder Wave directly on himself to explode, and I win. Oh, fuck. 
Uh, he's gonna poke this dude. That hits. Where's he's gonna that? start moving out. Okay. Steve Boy turn. And you see uh, the whole fuck ton of guards start to gather. Uh... Jacob just kind of looks over at Arn and is like, you wouldn't happen to be able to hold that door open for very long, would you? Uh, I can take one other person with me. <laughs> He's just like... Okay, that makes things a bit difficult. Uh, Willow, you got any ideas? Or Ebony, I'm sorry. I don't know where I got wi Willow. Willow. I was going to say, who's Willow? With my hair back and forth. Eb Ebony, rather. I'm sorry. It's like for Willow? Give me a second. I'm about to do I don't even know now. who the hell Willow is. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was an old game. I don't know. But anyway, Ebony, you have any ideas? She's still focused on beating the crap out of that one mermaid Eb guy. Ebony, I mean... I slapped him down already. <laughs> I know, but she's... Wait, this guy? Yeah, the... the, the... Oh, no, that... Not... Oh, that one's still alive, yeah. Yeah, no, that's the guy who, who smacked her. Oh, fair enough. It's like, Ebony, Ebony... <laughs> not Eb now, I have something to finish. Ebony, we can't... Uh, Ebony! <laughs> yeah, let's, let's fucking go, I'll take you down! It's like... <laughs> Literal army, Ebony! <laughs> God. Let's go, one on one! Orc, orc, orc. Your scales will look good on a necklace. Ebony! <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'm going to. S so were your tusks. <laughs> <clears throat> Careful, these right, tusks uh, are more than so just. So, what are these guards doing? Okay. <laughs> uh. All right. So he, he try he's try he tries to stab you with his trident to block it. He tries to multi attack you, and that one actually hits. Uh. Nine piercing damage. <clears throat> You got some dabblage there, Hunt. Ah. So, all right, Tarnock, the guard in front of you. Tries to run away. Uses the dodge and tries to run away. Hmm. All right, so yeah, you get an um. An attack of opportunity. So he has the dodge action. Don't you just mean disengage? Or like, so would I have disadvantage no, on the attack? Or... You can take an opportunity attack, but it's yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Ignore that. Let me just roll that again. I I misclick. I'm sorry. I'll roll again. First of all, how dare you? <laughs> Well, I'm taking that 17, and you don't hit. Uh, I got bush here in this. Okay. Hey, no Seriously? Guys. First of all, uh, uh, some guards actually start swimming up to you. Uh, hold on. Let me, uh, let me uh -oh. figure out where the hell were they previously. Okay, wait. I think it was, like, right there with the other ones, wasn't it? Yeah. Nice no, how it was. I hit the I hit the control Z button. Nice. Behold. Alright, they have to actually double move just to get up to you, but right. I ah. <laughs> Ebony. Time to do some more beat down real quick before I help them with the army, because she is a determined okay. child. Might run away. Then you turn into a giant shark and consume him. 
I mean, there's no sharks nearby for her to change into. Well, you don't, you don't need to see an animal, like, every time you turn into something. You just need to see it once, and then you can always turn into it. Wait, what? Yeah. That's that's all you have to do to wild shape. You see it, see an animal once. So I could potentially turn into the to the killer whale that S- ate me. CR level limitations, though. So if the yeah. if the creature's CR is too high of um, of a threat level, you can't become it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and since you didn't get the moon circle, I'm assuming, I think you can only do up to... She did, she did. Oh, she did? So, like, she CR2 did. people, then? Or CR1? Oh, uh, no, it's only when she gets to uh, level 6 that it starts to base her level in what CR she's able to transform into. Right now, her oh. CR limit is 1. And uh, she she is able to turn into any animal that does not have a flying speed. But she's level 10. Yeah, level 5 druid, though. Right, level 5 druid, that's right. Yep. You I went half and half. Okay. Yep. So next level, if you pick druid, you'll be able to do that level thing. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Anyways, uh, I'm going to do a thing. Okay. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's go look. Maybe I should homebrew some spells. That might be fun. Yeah, it might be. Or heck, even homebrew yeah. a, a class. Mm-hmm. Like you can take yeah, some of the previous ideas of homebrewed classes and just be like, you know mm-hmm. what? I'm gonna see if I can make this a better or not. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The sky's the limit, Ebony. Of course, you will have to go through a. <laughs> I'll have to go through the ocean to get to the, to the sky. <laughs> You're um, in the ocean. I'm going to go ahead and attack with the quarterstaff again. Okay. But I also have a cantrip, but this is also a 1D... No, it's a 1D6, so I wonder if I could use that cantrip with it. The... God, how do I say this? Uh, Shillelagh? Yeah. Shillelagh? For the duration, you You can use the spellcasting ability for the attack and damage rolls of melee attacks using that weapon, and the weapon's damage die becomes a D8. Yep. Okay, so then do I roll this and then roll the the, the roll staff? Oh, And... Uh, yes. Okay, so I roll that. And then go up and roll the quarter staff. Uh, and well, hold on. So you're able to use your spellcasting ability modifier instead of your strength for the, for the attack if you want. Okay. So that would be your wisdom. So I roll wisdom. No, you switch it to wisdom, if you want to. Like if you, if you if you can determine that the wisdom uh, makes it higher, then by all means go go for it. Uh, but if not, you might want to go with the the original thing. It's, it's it's in your weapons. Yeah, your attack stat. <clears throat> All right, so, yeah, see, it's a D6, but now you can change it to a D8 as long as you have Shillelagh active. Yes. And you'll be able to switch the attack stat to Wisdom, which, which actually increases the two-hit and the damage. So then how do I change it to Wisdom? 
is a drop down menu under uh, attack. Like, like, right, oh, do you see? Do you see right next to the quarter staff thing? Yeah. 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 So you can switch your damage dice then to d to a d eight. Like that. Yes. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Here's hoping it works. And then this is normal or advantage? It's normal. Okay. But you do hit him. You clank him right in the back in the head with your now magically in blue chalala. <laughs> oh, it's a bonus action, too. All right, so that's going to be active for a minute. So that's like 10 rounds of combat. Admittedly, everyone's like running away right now. Right. It's a really good fucking cantrip. Mm -hmm. For druids. For well, this into your head again. Or club users, or basically <laughs> stick users. All right. <laughs> it's like ah. Oh! <laughs> I'll teach you a thing or two. Ebony, Ebony, there's literally an army. Well, this person is a part of their army, so I'm taking them out. Ebony! <laughs> <laughs> this, uh, so, the other guy is like, no, no, don't listen to him. Come on, stay in this building until my army gets here. But my, my army specifically, don't tell my general, has said that. <laughs> oh, I'll tell them after I've collected your scales. Do, do not. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Try me. How dare. Okay, uh, do you move at all or do you just stay in the building? I'm staying in the building. She's stubborn <laughs> as hell. She's gonna <laughs> beat this guy. Oh god, alright. I am an orc. <laughs> all right. Orc time. All right, good sir. Uh, just show me your manacles, and I'll help you get out as best I can in a jiffy. Sure. All right, let's see here. Oh, come on. That's a two, so, uh... <laughs> All right, so I don't know as, if that helps. As you might have noticed, like, he, he's got some pretty big arms, so they use some pretty big... Uh, cuffs for him, and your tiny little uh, thieves twos are having like difficulty with a massive goddamn key lock. It's like, <laughs> oh, come on! And I can't even attempt to try again, can I? I'll tell you what: if you don't move, I don't. Okay, I won't move. Here we go. All right, one more attempt. As it finally clinks and the handcuffs fully like uh, float down to the floor with a with a very soft th clank metal noise, I guess. Uh huh. Thank you, random stranger. I shan't forget this. You're welcome, good sir. Uh, be safe out there, and I hear that there might be a massive. Uh... Actually, do I do I hear the army out there at all? Perhaps. It's coming. Roll perception. Alright. Let's see. You are a couple buildings down and distance away. It's hard to tell with you. Uh. Well. No, I'd say the DC is a little higher than that, actually. Damn. Maybe if I rolled above a 10. Be safe. I swear to God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, now that ends my turn. Jacob. Uh, all right. So the current situation: there's a whole pack of more guards coming. Uh, Ebony's stuck in the building. Tarnock's slowly getting swarmed. Jacob looks over. Uh, looks up at Tarnock. Looks over at Yasio, and is like, "Ah, uh, Arin." Uh, Yes, I'm gonna go up and try and get Tar, uh, uh, try and help Tarnock. You, uh, 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 he, uh, you try and get Ebony and Yasio out of here, okay? Okay. Do I do I hear 
Uh, Jacob said that. Like, can I? Can I? Am I with the earshot gate? You're within the earshot. Yes. Okay. I I yell, run! I and I just like yell that very angrily at all of them down there. Jacob uh, Jacob yells back up, and he's like, "Not without you!" And he swims up. Like, no, I'm fine by my. Damn it! <laughs> like. Jacob, I swim uh, faster than all of you. Uh, Jacob just kind of uh, moves up and like starts to stab at this guy. Over, he's like, like, exactly. I need to. I need a ride. <laughs> You're heavy. You're not armed. <laughs> I do, I'm with this armor's mithril. I don't know what that is. Can you eat that? It's. It's why I'm able to swim. <laughs> I thought you were able to swim because of your arms. <laughs> Ooh, he's got you there. Yeah, 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 Jacob, you have arms. <laughs> Wait, we all have arms. <laughs> Jacob slightly annoyedly proceeds to slap the shit out of this guard. Okay. Taking advantage, of course. Flanking. Yeah, You're taking advantage of them? What? No. Okay. I mean, he is. As, like, his armor starts to buckle in, and you just almost practically feel his ribs crack. Oof. And then through he was the, through the Through the Warhammer shaft. And he proceeds to, uh, uh, Jacob proceeds to uh, rear his, uh, his hammer back again, and he's going to slap him again. Crunch. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Crunch. Like, uh, you, you see him, like, sort of throw up a bit after after that second blow. And he's just like, Argh! and he, like, he, he turns towards you with a, with an angry look in his eyes and also his, and like a <laughs> distressed, distressed part of every other part of his face. It's like his one eye and the rest of it. <laughs> uh, and 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 he's Jacob just kind of looks over. Uh, uh, J Jacob just kind of looks over at the garden and is like, "This guy is. Wait, was that one alive? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, damn it! Not like you'll be for." Anyway. Jacob just looks over at Tarnock and is like, we gotta go! <laughs> gotta go fast! Gotta and go. gonna end that by a sin. And gonna end that by going over this away. Actually, wait, no, I'm gonna stay there. I'm gonna stay there. Never mind. Okay. Aaron! Yes? Your turn. <laughs> Okay. Uh, those guys are pretty close. Little too close. I can't cast Dimensional Door on two people. Unless like, some kind of spell BS stuff. Let me just check that doesn't Spell matter. gremlins. Yeah, I definitely cannot cast that with uh, use on more than two people. Hmm. Well, myself and someone else, but, uh... Sometimes the mm. biggest issue with having a, uh, a large party. You gotta grapply your favorite party member and teleport away before you get real swarmed with guard peoples. Given how fast Yasio can currently swim, here's what I'm going to do gonna turn to these guys, firstly, and be like, okay, which of you can swim faster? and oh, sorry, Or sorry. wants to actually leave? Probably Yasio at this point. But Yasio would definitely want to leave. Who I'm can sure. either swim faster or wants to leave this vicinity, like, directly at this exact moment in time? I am both. Uh, speaking as Yasio, but like... Okay, and what about you, 
people have any. What? Sorry. What's going on? This is in character, by the way. Yasio can probably swim faster, but do you want to leave right now? Um, being as this guy is still standing. You're like, you could knock me down. <laughs> Shut up. I'm going to put you on the ground in a few seconds here if you don't let me think. Or and just kind of grumbles a bit. He swims over. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. If you're not finished with that guy in a few seconds, I'm getting you out of here whether you want to or not. Yasio! Okay. And this is a concentration spell, so I do have to drop protection from evil and good. Alright. Poke. Swim as fast as you can. Will do. And he just he fucking disappears. <laughs> and then Arin uses the rest of her movement to sloop into here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Tarnok. In the midst of all that that was happening, Tarnok is arguing with Jacob about how he freaking he's fine that he can swim. And then he's not going to give him a piggyback ride. <laughs> <sighs> which way was the which way is the door again? Okay. What door? Or like the way out? I think that way. Just yeah. in general. <laughs> like where where we where did we come from? That's what I'm asking. Okay. That way. Uh, <laughs> like uh, what the hell? around like that way. In this general map location direction, you've even saw a couple of fish people like swim off in that direction after they escaped from the building. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. we came well, off the map from this direction. Well, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to forcefully grab Jacob by the freaking chest plate. Okay. And put him under my arm, and then using a key point, <laughs> I step of wind. So basically, I get the disengage action, I can dash. So, freaking I torpedo, I'm zooming out, my way out. Jacob's like, let's see, 45, 90. Right. Jacob! Yeah! Perfect, perfect, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like, excellent, Tarnock, we're gonna be fine! And... <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> and I'll pass the turn. Hey, you, okay. can, you can go as fast as Fathom can now. <laughs> well, given how fast fucking Yasio can swim, he still, he still ends up in front of you. Um, not that you'd be able to see this. Um... <clears throat> Oh boy. So the guards start swimming down to the entrance of this place and they just stop there. They're like, they hold all their tridents toward the, uh, well, except the dude who fucking dropped his. <laughs> that guy just, just like, my trident. Sorry. Nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's crossing his arms and pouting, like, this is terrible. Did these guys, like, just stand here the entirety of combat, or are they starting to get out of here as well? Well, af yeah, af uh, after it's like, just seeing the, the whole swarm of guards, like, hmm, I think we might need to leave. I don't know, I, th I don't think we got this. Oh, we don't <laughs> got this, look at that! <laughs> okay, fine, I'm leaving. Uh, alright, this guy is injured, he's just evil. Go, Gary. You're okay. Uh, this guy is just <laughs> turtle bingo. Oh boy! Look at oh. all these guys filing in. Oh boy! L oh, look at boy. all of these guards. <laughs> you, you might want to <laughs> shut the door, guys. Oh boy! Oh god! Okay. Aaron gestures wordlessly to this, like. 
This is why I was saying we need to go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, I may have gotten ahead of myself. <laughs> oh, no, I think you could take them with one well-placed AoE and hope, I guess. Ebony. What's an AoE? <laughs> the, the door is super blocked off right now. Oh, I've got an Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't think a cantrip's going to get me out of this. Mm. Just, just focus on this boy. I can get us out of here. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Sh just shut the door while you're doing it. <laughs> just shut the door. <laughs> she, just, she just looks out the door and says, excuse us, and slams the door shut, <laughs> turns back to the guy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Let's try this. I have a level one spell called Ice Knife. Oh, oh boy, you gonna fucking shank him? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> with frozen I, I water. Should, I should warn you with Ice Knife, once it hits, it then kind of explodes outward and like everyone around the guy... And you're kind of in his line of, uh, in, in that area of effect. Basically, okay, anyone. Okay, but right does there. water affect that? Being as we're in water? It's never specified. Mm -hmm. Okay, hmm. otherwise, I suppose I could use my enhance ability. You know, I'll tell you, I'll say. I'll... No. That's more for afterwards. Water breathing, ice storm, scrying. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, Animals, right. dust, wind, misty step. That's good for afterwards. Cure wounds. I can use that afterwards. No, no. Oh, okay. Well, as 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 a druid, like later after combat, you could probably prep it. Mm hmm. How about this? Primal Savagery. You channel primal, primal magic to cause your team oh, to sharpen, ready to deliver a corrosive attack. Make a melee spell attack against one creature within five feet of you. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 acid damage. Oh, that one. That one's fun. Oh, uh, isn't that a little higher since you're a... Uh... 10. Yeah, since you're level 10. Let me, let, me, let me check that out. The spell's damage increases by 1d10 when you reach the 5th level. D 2d10, 11th level, 3d10, and 17th level, 4d10. Okay. So, so right now, 2D10. it's at a 2d10. Alright. So, oh. cast spell. Yeah, cast spell. Uh, hmm. Do you see those checks near it? Wait, where are you? Where is? Oh, do I need to click attack roll? Uh, yeah. Let me okay. just uh, let me just check and make sure that it's damage. uh right. Damage is two d six, two d ten. That's a really good fucking spell, I swear. Right, and it's a cantrip. Yeah. Gee, there you go. Okay, roll again. Yes. Yeah, that fucking hits. And like you just. Your, your hand becomes slightly like claws and you just scratch against his face. It's like, ah! Ah! And, you, and he's just, he's nailed down on the floor, just holding his face. It's like, you, it's, it's burning him. Are you done jabbering now? But he's, he's having difficulty hearing you over the, over the sound of his own screams. I think he's done. Yes. Now, what is your plan of getting us out of here because of my stupidity and stubbornness? Don't worry, ah! I got this. Uh, Can I turn around and give him a fucking death glare? TM? <laughs> uh, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do, do just intimidate for fun. Okay. Intimidation for fun. 
<laughs> I still don't like intimidations based off charisma. <laughs> well, you can do it strength too if you got like the big flex. I'll allow, I'd allow it in certain sim- situations like that. I I'm like that a, then. I'm just amused right. there. Four stats. My strength is a 13. Oh. My intimidation. Just... What is my intimidation? It's in your skills. My intimidation is a six? Sixteen? What? I'm just amused how people think that charisma just means how beautiful you look. It's like, man, no. It's how good you are with people. It's mm-hmm. how it's how much presence you have uh, to get noticed by people, essentially. Mm-hmm. Or be convincing. So I think my strength is more than my intimidation check. What your intimidation might have a lower bonus than your strength, or okay, technically when you're just rolling your strength, it's just whatever the modifier is. Yeah, um, you like your intimidation's actually higher. Okay, well then I'm gonna roll that. <coughs> and do and do. Oh, she's scary. She's okay. he's he's straight up crying right now. <laughs> Basically, even though they're underwater, she blows smoke out of her nose, and like her eyes <laughs> look her a different color real quick. Like bubbles come out of her nose, and they're <laughs> just filled with smoke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're going to stay down. Oh God! <laughs> Holy shit, Rick. Okay. All right, so I noticed Tarnock uh, torpedoing with um, ah! Jacob. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, like just like this white oh, blur followed by screams. My hierarchidemia. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Did I notice? Yeah, I wouldn't have noticed um, anyone else with them. So it's just like, huh? Well. Time to see what's going on outside. I look over and just like, oh my! <laughs> seems to be quite a uh, stir going on there. Where where is uh, the rest of the group? They're running. <laughs> They're not with you though. So, uh, uh, Aaron so has you, a plan. You hear a voice from basically... From where, Gabe? You cut out. I, uh, it, like, basically... I cut out because I was interrupted. <laughs> How dare you? All of you get all of those salt points in, in six days. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, Yasio's voice is just, like, right next to you, and he's he's saying, like, oh, they're in that building over there. <laughs> just can't point because he's, he's invisible. <laughs> yeah, he's pointing. He's like, oh, wait, fuck. <laughs> Idiot. Do they, have, to... do they at least have a plan to get out of their, that situation? They do. Oh god, I'm blinking, but I still can see. What the fu- Oh god, my eyelids are invisible! Okay. I'm gonna go back inside. (laughs) What'd you do? As I, I basically am doing this. Yeah, let's see here. What you do? So 20, 40, 60, 70 feet. Um, I hope he realizes this okay. is all for naught. Interesting. <laughs> Probably not. He has no <laughs> clue what's going on, so he's off to go and help with secret passageways. <clears throat> that ends my turn. I did all movement and talking. Uh, Jacob, I assume you're not going to do anything on your turn, unless you want to. So, Jacob is going to go... Uh, Jacob actually realizes something, pulls out his sending stone, and starts riding towards uh, 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 riding towards Rick. Mid-flight. There you go, that'll, that'll solve this shit. 
and he proceeds to get, to tell, uh, 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 proceeds to put through the sending stone to Rick. Aaron can teleport with one person, and that one person is Ebony. I have to wait till my turn to actually be able to read this. So, God damn it, Nace! <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, I put my hand on Ebony's shoulder. Uh-huh. Wait, say goodbye to this guy, and just um, let me just go over to the right spell page. Kathunk. <laughs> Teleport uh, current location to any other spot within range. You're all exactly at the spot desired. It can be a place you see, one you can visualize, or one you can describe by staring, stating distance and direction, such as 200 feet straight forward or upward northwest, 5 degree angle, 300 feet. All right. How, f- how far away is the fountain that was our quote unquote meeting place? Uh, it's a like. Uh, the amount of distance, uh, like roughly two miles. Okay. I'm going to say in that direction, like, but also somewhere out of sight, like in an alleyway or something. I did, yeah, imagine like with 500 fucking feet, you're basically off the map right now. Yeah, just bye-bye, pop. Oh, fucking god. As you and Ebony, With Ebony so yeah. fucking pop out of existence. Tarnock, I imagine you're still swimming. Uh, I throw Jacob in front of me and I double back. And I bite the freaking guard corpse and just glaring at all of them, I growl at them. And using a key point, down to five. Dash away. <laughs> so you 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 swim back, grab a guard corpse, and then. So <laughs> that's smart, though. That's one okay. less member that they're reviving back for their army. Wait, I just I'm just hungry. <laughs> Nace, you're giving him too much credit. No, I know. This is all I, according to Kekatu. <laughs> this is all according to Rick's plan. <laughs> the plan that he didn't tell us. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> Army so of my streams. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, yeah, so yeah, th- so that guy's lucky. All I did was scratch up his face. He could have became an undead guy for the skeleton war. So, so let, oh let, god, the skeleton war. See him later on in 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 like later videos and be like, "You're a little shit. You scratched up my face." Named character. Let, let me there just take a wild his guess. Name is, uh, his name is Fish Scratch Face, and now finally his name makes sense to him, but it hurts. God. <laughs> so, so, so let me take a wild guess here and say that, um, and, and that uh, they they opened this door, saw that the people that were there are not there, and that's why they moved forward, right? Correct. Okay, so that door is wide open. And so this... is the one, like, for right and forward in so your building. Is... Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that movement speed and go back down into... Actually, I'm going to take that movement speed and I'm going to go into here. And then <laughs> and then I get a pling on my uh, sending stone. Uh-huh. And so I start reading my sending stone while in the safety of this under... Ca- uh, underwater cavern. No, it's the l- less thing. reading and more like it's getting into your head with the thoughts. Alright. Nobody uh, else, but you I can s- hear it. Uh-huh. Well, at least they have a way out. Well, I should be fairly alright as long as I stay down here. And uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do myself a disguise and take the rest of my action just Kind of pushing my parts together to uh, make make my disguise once again from before. What you disguising as? From before. Oh, oh you're trying to disguise. Yes. <laughs> um, ah. I'm I'm looking for my um my my name for the character that I, I gave to him. But it was the generic one from the book. 
I know, but I'm trying to remember what it was. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna end my turn. So go on. I've got a way out of here. I'm not. I'm not as good as escaping as Fathom was, where I could walk through walls quite literally. But all right, Jacob, what you're doing? So turn Jacob up, is... he has spent his turn going back and forth <laughs> while scourges are still coming at you. Oh, and throwing him you forward. Yeah, he got thrown. You. And Jacob is just going to go ahead and use this momentum to keep swimming, uh, uh, to keep swimming as best as he can. And he's going to go ahead and just try to. Uh, he's actually going to go ahead and try and get uh, take like the back alleys uh, out of the, out of sight and whatnot because. Usually he's pretty, he's kind of an, uh, um, stands out like a sore thumb in, in the open. Okay. Uh, roll me stealth at advantage. Stealth at advantage, okay. All right. It shouldn't be the worst thing in the world, so here we go. You even have advantage! I'm saying, like, with, with advantage due to the fact you're sort of, I hope, splitting up. <laughs> yep. All right. Uh, Tarnock. Uh, going to use my action and just double move, so 90 movement. Just going to go out. Yeah, they're not fucking catching up to you. Oh no. Okay. He just... Okay, so these guys have probably swam off the map by now. As well, Rick. Yes. Rick, what you doing? All right. So what I'm doing is with my trident disguise, and I poke my head up. Now noticing that all the guards are gone. Well, just, there's some dead ones, but well, there, there's some dead ones. As well as that one dude who's crying from acid. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with him. I, I'm gonna shrug and then allow my <laughs> he took too much acid and he's crying. <laughs> and, and, and then I'm just gonna have. My hands start spinning in circles like propellers as I use my magical item of um, uh, of uh, gloves of swimming and climbing, and just kind of motorboat my way out out of out of here and just go to the meetup area in the opposite direction of where the guards ended up going. Heck, well that was <laughs> combat. <laughs> It took us two whole additional parts of an episode to finish, but there we are. We'll yeah, see you guys in the next episode where we'll meet up by a fountain and talk about how guards are really mean and how dare there be more than than, than conceivably the amount we started with. And we have some ruined. new information. Ares was not present. Yes. Ah. Also, we have other new information. Ares is actually working for the sister, based on... Plus, with the fact that Ebony learned about Ares's strange activities. So, we're gonna have fun. Till then. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.